Welcome back to a new episode where we will be talking about heading elements in HTML. Heading elements are pretty useful because they help us to define the hierarchy and the structure of the web page content. A heading element can be seen as a title, so every document has a title, and in HTML we have headings. If we go to the browser and we go to the website of Airbnb, again, and if we scroll down, you can see all the bold titles, so Explore Airbnb, Airbnb Plus Places to Stay. These are headings, and a selection of places below our heading is called a paragraph. So let's go back to our code editor. HTML offers different heading tags, and like I said, there is a hierarchy structure. So let's type down H, and if you look at the drop-down menu that just appeared on our screen, we have h1, h2, h3, 4, 5, and 6. The higher the number, the greater its importance. Therefore, h1, so let's click on it, defines the most important headings, and h6 defines the least important headings in the document. In between the tags, we need to write down a piece of text, otherwise our h1 tag will be empty. Well, let me actually show it to you. So let's save it. Go back to the browser, refresh it, and it's empty because we have nothing written in between our tags. So let's write down heading level 1. Save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that the h1 tag is bold. And that's because by default, browsers display headings in a larger and bolder font than normal text. The h1 tag will also be displayed in a larger font than, well, let's say h6, because h6 is the smallest. Let's go back to the code editor, let's copy h1, and let's change h1 to h2, and let's change the text in between to level 2. Let's save it, refresh it, you can see that h2 is font size is way less than h1. So let's go back to the browser, and let's copy paste it 4 more times. So let's change the third one to 3, 4, 5, and 6. So let's save it again, refresh the browser. Here you can see that H6 is, well, the smallest in either font weight and font size. Since search engines like Google use headings to index the structure and content of the web pages, I actually recommend you to use them, well, very wisely. So use H1 headings as a main heading, followed by H2, and, well, the less important one needs to be H3, and so on. I also recommend you to only use your H1 heading once on every page. So heading tags are used for small pieces of text. But if you have a long piece of text, such as a paragraph, you need to use another tag. So let's go to our code editor, and below our H6 tag, let's write down P, hit tab, which stands for paragraph. And this is a very basic and typically the first tag you will need to publish your text on a website. So in between our paragraph tags, let's write down, this is a paragraph tag, save it, refresh the browser, and now you can see that the output is different than the heading tags, because if you look at it, there's, well, way more space added at the top and at the bottom, and that's because the paragraph tag basically adds margin around it. And I know that we haven't talked about margins yet, but we will do it later on. Another fun thing about the paragraph tag is that, well, if you add multiple spaces, so let's go to the code editor, and right after this, let's add a couple spaces. Let's save it, and, well, let's refresh the browser, and what you can see right now is that the browser reduced all the spaces to a single page, and this is called white space collapsing. Let's go back to the code editor, and let's remove all our spaces, and let's hit enter a couple times. Save it, refresh the browser, and even though we added multiple enters, the browser will reduce that as well. This was it for this episode, and in the next episode, I want to talk about images in HTML. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, 
And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.